Hi everyone. Just checking to see if I'm in frame here. <laughs> Anyways, I've been working on my garden journal. So I thought I would just come and show you what I've done. Uh, gosh, it's taken a long time. <laughs> Anyways, I had some uh, old, um, what do you call it? Quilting, quilted fabric that I got and uh, I put that on and it's three signatures and I've just used a, a, a little, little hook there. And I've also used the Samperia uh, lavender kit along with some of my own papers. So I just thought I would just kind of go through it pretty quick. So I've got some tags here. Um, I also wanted to say that I needed a garden journal because we bought a home and I have flowers that I've planted now and I wanted to kind of keep track of that. So um, I've used a lot of my digitals in here. This is one, I think. This background is one. And here is one of the flowers that I planted and some information in regards to the flower. And I've dated it 2021. I don't know if anybody else does that. And then in this little pocket, um, I just used one of my cards and some wallpaper that I had, vinyl wallpaper, and just stitched it together for a little booklet that I can write in. Uh, this is from my my flower or garden kit. Um, I got these, I can't remember who they're from. I'll, I'll try and remember to put it in the description below for uh, the like these words. Um, here I've got one of my um, library cards and I wanted to have location flower bed it's next to the garage zone two and how high they go and on here I've added a little um, uh, what do you call them my words are gone today wow um, eyelet and it kind of just opens up. I've, I've um, put my, I was writing stuff out before, so I've just kind of cut them out and added them so that I kept everything up to date. And I've also dated it. So, and I had a book and I'm going to show you that book if I can find it quickly. Um... It was on my desk here. It's the cutest darn thing. I've got to find it because you have to see it. Um, I'm not sure what I did with it now. Did, oh, here it is. This is the book that I found. It was a 2009 um, kind of a, a date book. But they had the cutest things uh, with birds. All things seem possible in May. So some of the pages that I took out of here um, work really well in a, a garden journal. So this I've used as a pocket and it says we carry our homes within us which enables us to fly by John Cage. And then I've just put these in here. This is from this book and um, I thought spring, it's kind of nice. He makes his home where the living is best. Latin proverb. And then on this side, I've used a little washi tape. Um, I've dated this 2021. These are uh, some hosses that I planted. These are perennials. Uh, here I used a piece, again, from this book. Uh, as a belly band and I used a 
a coffee dyed piece of paper just fold it up to take apart and be able to write in there because I'm hoping to have this book for years really um, just things that have worked in my garden things that haven't this is uh It's about our pergola, and I've got the pictures printed, but I haven't added them yet. Uh, we added a pergola to the backyard, and it's just beautiful. So I wanted to document that as well. It's kind of part of our garden. And here I've added um, uh, a little bit of, uh, sorry, silk, and then a piece of uh, uh, paper, and then I zigzagged across that and then I just I glued it down or did I no I sewed it right on here uh, some cases I had to glue it and other other cases I had to I could sew it on so so my garden feeds my soul and this is a blue angel hosta um, I've put where I put it like north side of the house that kind of thing. And here's another one of those uh, sayings in from that book. There are some of the same fitness in man's building his own house that there is in a bird's building its own nest. I, I love these. These are just from the kit, the, the uh, Stamperia kit. So I've got some pages that are blank but you know I'm hoping to have this for a long time so this is from uh, my garden kit on, on Etsy and here's another one of those and I've just added more more paper to write on uh, coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper I don't know which it is anymore I've had it for a long time so I've been busy uh, working on this I, it's funny, I stitched all the, all the, um, lace on the edges of certain pages that I wanted, and then I bound the book, two signatures. Then it was too fat, so I had to unbind the book and add another, uh, and split them all up and make it a three signature book, so now it's better. <laughs> it was just too fat, but I didn't want to get rid of any of my pages, even though this says March, I may end up covering that up, but it's writing space. And this is, again, from this book. Those pages are big. So this is from my kit. And I pulled some pages out of a um, an old... Uh, flower book so now we're entering oh and here I added some lace and then I added some trim that I had that kind of went with like it's got the green and the lavender and it's so pretty I really like it so happy face hearts these are po po Pontilla Owen Tilla. Anyways, they're really pretty. Some more of that book page or that uh, flower book. I've got these here because I'm going to add it right there, but I haven't done it yet. I'm. St it's a work in progress. Um, So I'm just going to keep going here. These are patio passions. These are hens and chicks, but they're this color. I love this. It's it's very it's a it's a beautiful color and they're they it's ground cover mo mostly. So these are the um ground, these are ground cover too. Uh but they do get little uh, purple flowers in the spring and I used a um, 
decorative punch here for that. This is one of my pages. And these are from my kit as well. Uh, season garden layout, seasonal garden layout. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I will. These are all from my kit. Here's another one, and I'm not sure if I'm putting it here or if I'm going to put it over here. So it's in there, waiting. <laughs> And um, there's approximately, I'm going to say approximately, it's about 27 pages per signature. So that's a lot of pages. Here's the garden wish list. I'm going to have lots of stuff on here that I'm going to want. <laughs> Just some more tags that I've made. This one's from the um, flower book. I added a little bit of uh, sheer fabric there that's kind of sparkly. I like it. <clears throat> so Dreamy Dandelions. I, uh, I'll show you the book. I get these from, it's the Whole Seed Catalog. I order it um, every other year, not every year, but I do order it every other year. Um, it's from, uh, I'm trying to, trying to figure out, I don't know. Oh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. That's, that's who this is from the whole seed catalog and the the photos in here are just stunning like if you're into vegetables and you know different things which I want to do but not this year so I've been I've been more into the um, flowers and well I do have some pictures of lettuce in here which you'll see in a minute but I thought that these uh, these dandelions um, they uh, attract butterflies and honeybees, so that's a good thing to have. And I've got this little thing tucked on the edge. It's a little, a little tuck that I can, you know, put things in. Some information on my garden. Here is a, I've glued this down already, and it actually goes this way. And I've used the same kind of trim throughout the whole book. So this, this just tucks in here like that. And I, I can tuck little, little cards. These are from another kit in my shop. And it just tucks in like that. And then I've got lots of notes. The, these are part of my garden kit as well. Because you always need notes. And, and, and now I, I'm thinking I should have maybe uh, made them lighter. But I do know that a, a dark pen or a blue pen even would work fine on these. They'll be fine. You'll be able to see it. And this is from that book again. I just love that book. Again, from my kit. This is also from my kit. Uh, here's the lettuce. Um, because it's new and... Um, uh, it's a romaine summer lettuce, splashed with many shades of fiery color. And it grows uh, 8 to 10 inch heads. More vertical than spreading, but for best results. 
and consistent color plant each about well it tells you how to plant it anyway i would love to try that if it will grow in our area but and this is a just a tiny little head but very crunchy makes cabbage like green heads three to four inches across these are different head lettuce or different lettuces that i'd like to try and grow so it, that's the kind of thing that I'm going to be putting in my book. This again is from that uh, book and more notes and seasonal garden expense and task tracker. So I think this is important because we spent a lot of money this year and I just want to keep uh, keep track of you know what we've spent our money on. So the item uh, budget we didn't even have a budget this year we couldn't it, it was just impossible so but next year we will so i've got another one of these to put in and there's white heavier cardstock in here as well i'll probably use a um uh I'll probably use one of my stencils for the white pages. This is from my kit as well. Just a little tuck there and uh, some annuals that I purchased, begonias. Um, they're going to be gone, you know, when, when uh, fall comes. And then another little saying here. More of the Samperia kit. And here I put a, this is the last page. Here I put a, um, a snippet roll as a, as a pocket. And I've just added a couple of things in there for, for now. That could change. But anyways, um, that's my garden book. Just to give you an idea, I have been really, really busy <laughs> trying to get this done. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.